Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado that generation right here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you have one of those and you have a problem where you have a problem where you have no sound coming from the radio, from the speakers, stay with us. We'll explain what can easily cause that now, guys. Okay, what we see quite often, there are two fuses that you need to check. Always start by doing this. There is no reason to waste your money on diagnostics and parts that you may not need. In case you need to buy something, tools, parts, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, uh, we will explain where you can get them from, that way you do not waste money and time, and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, parktronic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so guys what we have here specifically we'll demonstrate on that generation Chevy Silverado if there is no sound what you need to check you have guys multiple fuse boxes in that truck actually three of them today we work in just one and that fuse box is under the hood go ahead and open the hood here on the driver's side you have a fuse box under this cover open it and you'll see the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one right here before we continue let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so if you guys have no sound which two fuses we need to check oh by the way if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for your chevy silverado or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way you do not waste money and time now if you come towards that section right here on the front driver side of that fuse box you're going to notice that that fuse right here it's fuse number 41 that's for the sound amplifier if that fuse is blown you'll get no sound guys there is another fuse that you need to check as well and this is known as fuse number 42 and we're talking about this 15 amp fuse other things that can cause no sound it could be bad sound amplifier it could be unplugged wire from the radio unit or the sound amplifier guys we see that uh, quite often if people replace things and they didn't push them all the way to click uh, and make sure that they're secured so hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know and see you guys next time